This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. Title of this video clip is Interface Issues. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What do you need to be able to do when encountering modern computer interfaces? Number two, what are the suggested strategies when coming across an application with which you are unfamiliar? And number three, how can you go about demonstrating your interface skill development? In learning to cope with modern computer interfaces, the skills required, in addition to the basic identification of icons, would include 1. The discrimination between the icons of software programs, files, and folders, as well as the management of all of these items. Number two, the identification of minimized items. Number three, the identification of menus and submenus. Number four, the identification of items, buttons and menus, functioning as environmental controls. Number five, the identification of the information environment. And number six, the identification of hidden windows or superimposed windows. The purpose of this slide is to suggest some strategies to improve your skills of independent learning of ICT, making you more independent and more confident in developing your skills. Number one, reference your own prior knowledge. Number two, take time to explore the interface of new software. Number three, use the shortcut menu offered by the right mouse button in Windows, and increasingly, if you've got a magic mouse, in the Apple OS. Number four, read the dialog boxes available. Number five, use the help function offered by the software. Number six, experiment systematically. Number seven, browse resources. Number eight, do not wait to be trained. Over the past couple of months, I've heard a bit, little bit of discussion about the discussion board that we are using in this course, Web Knowledge Forum or WebKF. While most of you have developed some skill in reading and responding to posts, I have observed very little use of advanced features of, the op of this application, which assist in knowledge building within the community of learners. As a demonstration of your developing competencies and skills, investigate the advanced features of Web Knowledge Forum or WebKF and use these features over the final three weeks within the course database in WebKF. By the way, it won't be sufficient to know what to do without knowing why you would do these things. This is equivalent to knowing about the underlying theory and will require that you analyze the affordance in order to use it in appropriate ways. Investigate tools that can be used to manipulate video and or still pictures. Some ideas that you may want to review can be found in the following pages, and there are three specific pages taken off of the ICT course uh, for the BED program. Tools you might start with include Paint, Live Movie Maker, Live Photo Gallery, or on the Mac side, iPhoto, iMovie, Keynote, and many online browser-based applications, and that's applicable to both the PC as well as the Mac side. Theoretical Perspectives, read the following articles, the Desjardins 2005, if you haven't done so so far, and the Desjardins Lacasse and Bel Air 2001 article, and view the technical order module from the Learning with ICT B Ed course, um, and the link is given on the screen. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Why would a good understanding and skill development in file and hard drive management be of value when learning a new application interface? Number two, what general principles might be applied to independent learning of OS and application interfaces and why are these important? And number three, investigate the value and usage of the analytic toolkit for Knowledge Forum and that's given at analysis.ikit.org slash atk slash atkdoc.html and that explains some of the uh, materials found within the analytic toolkit itself. That brings us to the end of this video clip and to the end of these synthesis questions.